Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. We all know that the Power Rangers need some sort of morpher in order to access their powers and transform, or morph, into the heroes that we all love and recognize. But what exactly are the morphers? How do they work? Today we will be attempting to answer that question, this time looking specifically at the power morphers from the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Let's get into it. Hey guys and welcome to the 6th Ranger. It has been a while since I made a video about the Morphers. They are without a doubt one of the coolest things about the show in my opinion. As a kid I always wanted to have one, and when I received a replica one for Christmas one year, it came with me everywhere, constantly pretending to morph wherever I went. I'm sure those of you that have been into the show since childhood know exactly what I mean. Fortunately, now being an adult now means I can have the ability to buy as many replica morphers as I want to add to my collection. But what is it that makes them so cool? Well, like I said, without them, the rangers are just as human as the rest of us. When they pull out the morphers, they are able to call upon the power of the morphing grid and initiate an instantaneous metamorphosis. This morphing process gives the rangers access to their costumes as well as enhanced speed, strength, agility and durability. Before we continue with this video guys, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Do you want to learn a new skill but don't have the necessary resources to do so? Well, Skillshare is the ideal place for you. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes available. So with the knowledge of Zordon at your fingertips, you can learn many new skills. Photography, illustration, animation, editing and so much more. Have you ever fancied setting up your own YouTube channel but don't feel like you have the necessary skills? Well, spend a little time with Skillshare and that can quickly change, helping your dreams become a reality. But one of the best things about Skillshare when compared to other types of online learning is you can do everything at your own pace. Learn when you feel like it and do it from the comfort of your own home or command center. I've personally been going through the basics of hand-drawn animation by Johannes Fast. It's been absolutely amazing to learn and I can't imagine the possibilities that that can bring to content on this channel. And amazingly, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description down below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Don't wait, take advantage of this amazing offer. Back to the video. The Morphers were originally given to the Rangers by Zordon. Each one of the Morphers had a power coin that was created by Ninja, and these power coins were embossed with an image of each Ranger's dinosaur or prehistoric beast. The Morphers themselves were created by Zordon in order to access the power of the coins. After receiving the ninja coins from Ninja, he created new ones for the rangers based on the same design as Zordon's. Now, it's never really explained in the show how exactly the morphers, and the coins for that matter, work in order to give the rangers their powers. Is the coin actually where the power is coming from? This is sort of what the original seasons led us to believe, but then in later seasons, different ranger teams had various morphing devices that didn't make use of a coin in order to access their powers. So surely it cannot be the coin that accesses the morphing grid, but the morpher itself. Despite what the show actually made it sound like, my theory on the matter is that the morpher itself is what accesses the grid, then the power coins are what makes the powers unique. Yes, the coins do access power in a way, the power of the unique prehistoric beast, as I mentioned earlier, but surely it is the morpher itself that acquires the power from the morphing grid. If you don't know anything about the grid, I do have a full video on it, but I'll give you a brief rundown now. The Morphing Grid is the universal power source from which all Power Rangers draw their powers from. While each Ranger team is different in where their power comes from, all sources of their power link to the grid. Its power is beyond comprehension and has been endlessly used for good, and on occasion evil. It's the ultimate force of life energy, and without it, life could not exist. So with that description out of the way, it's pretty clear to see that the grid is the source of power and the Morpher is what accesses the grid. So again, despite what it seems to indicate in the show, the coins can't really be the source of the power, just the individuality of it. I really hope I'm making some sort of sense. We essentially have a source of power, which is the grid, and we have a device that accesses the grid, which is the morpher. So the coin, or whatever else other teams manage to use, is just some sort of middleman, something to perhaps give a uniqueness to the powers. I don't see any way that it's actually given the powers to the rangers. Again, if I'm not making any sense, please let me know. Anyway, that's at least how I see the morphers working. 
But let's talk a little bit about what happened to them and the coins. What was their ultimate fate? Well, it's actually sort of unclear. The Dino coins eventually remained intact, despite being ruined in battle against Rita Revolto, whilst the Ninja coins were turned to dust. The original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers suits, however, complete with morphers and coins, were later put on display in the power chamber, during Power Rangers Zeo. But these may have simply been some kind of replicas for display. They are never really mentioned. In either case, former Mighty Morphin Rangers were shown to have access to their powers on at least three occasions afterwards. I'm very curious to hear your opinions on this, guys. What do you think about the relationship between the morphers and the coins? How do they work? Do you agree with my theory or do you have a better explanation? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're enjoying Power Rangers content, please consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps me out and allows me to continue making videos like this. It's completely free and it takes two seconds. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, which just sounds absolutely insane, but it's a milestone I would really love to hit. Thanks, everyone. And thank you all so much for watching this video today. I hope you have a fantastic day. May the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.